This is insane. Why the hell is this happening on like a date? This needs to stop. On Paige's interview with Stephen Colbert went. Imagine if your favourite musician lost their career and it was no longer socially acceptable to enjoy their music without being subject to harsh criticism. Would you be outraged and defend them? Or would you let them be forgotten? Chances are, you would follow what's socially accepted in fear of being outcasted just as your favourite artist was. This goes to show how strongly influenced we are by our peers. Hello, I'm Connor Muti. Thank you for inviting me to speak at the Lions Youth of the Year 2021. What is cancel culture? Cancel culture refers to groups of people targeting those online who have committed moral violations. The target's words and opinions are weaponized and violently turned against them. Cancel culture is based around conformity to social norms. Conformity is where people act in a manner that will make them look like a good person. Chances are, you said or did something in the last hour in order to desperately avoid appearing like a bad person. It's human nature to conform to what we believe that people think is socially acceptable, but in an age of cancellation, the consequences received by the victims of social targeting have become severely unjust. Everyone is entitled to their own opinion, right? It's becoming clear that opinion is no longer a right if you oppose the accepted progressive beliefs. Not only does cancel culture put people's reputations and careers in jeopardy, it also puts free speech and opinion itself on the line. We are in danger of becoming unable to express our beliefs, even if they are true to the individual. Imagine being responsible for a world in which your children have forced opinions and beliefs and no longer have the right to think for themselves. Imagine being being responsible for the downfall of democracy. Imagine being responsible for the end of freedom as we know it. This is a crisis and it needs to be addressed. People deserve to be able to express their individual belief. In the case of tyranny, it is socially unacceptable to oppose a corrupt government. How is it any different to censor social opinion? Censorship is an essential part of society. It is necessary in order to maintain well-being and to avoid inciting violence. This is especially true with the advent of global connectivity and media. However, like any essential aspect of life, it is best used in moderation. Too much or too little can be a bad thing. For example, China is a heavily censored nation and what is socially acceptable is controlled by the dictators. This is considered to be too much by Western nations. But how much is too much? The Western world now has the opportunity to manipulate the media. This has resulted in the ability to be able to regulate social expectations. If these social expectations become controlled by the government or likewise, you will be witness to the emergence of a Western tyrannical culture. This means that they will have control over society and thus the individual. You may ask yourself, how exactly does cancel culture give them this power? By inciting a culture of radical enforcement of controlled opinion, the population is being desensitized to having their beliefs manipulated. This is a dangerous step in the direction of tyranny. The novel, Fahrenheit 451, clearly describes the process of people destroying opinions until there are no longer any opinions to be had. An article titled, The Pros and Cons of Internet Censorship, states that censorship is necessary in in order to prevent internet related crime and to protect people from sensitive content but it can quickly become a matter of opinion as to what is acceptable or not this negatively impacts the flow of information the individual may be under the impression that cancel culture is an expression of free will and cultural progression but it's bound to restrict your freedom in one way or another as an individual you will likely find yourself subject to at least some form of discrimination the idea that harsh social repercussions could decrease the level of prejudice and discrimination in our society works in theory but in the case of cancel culture the discrimination manifests itself in the form of opinionism opinionism is the unofficial term for the act of discrimination against someone based on their opinion or standpoint an article titled is cancel culture effective exposes the fault in expecting public shaming to fix contentious issues. The article states how public shaming was beneficial to the individual and community in the past. Public shaming is a long-standing public ritual that helped uphold social bonds and ensured that no one got too high and mighty. However, social platforms have completely changed the way human beings communicate and spread ideas, information and opinions. Therefore, previous methods of keeping people from acting inappropriate have become outdated. With cancel culture, it's always, you're all good, or you're all bad. But human nature is much more complicated than that. When your career and reputation are built on social foundations, the consequences of breaking social rules and being cancelled can literally destroy your life and you can be seen as all bad just because of a single defining moment. High profile figures with reputations to maintain are severely limited in the things that they can say or do that won't offend a group of people or an individual that will result in their cancellation. Not only are celebrities freedoms limited, but if they choose to even act slightly out of line, they risk their status and their careers. Ricky Gervais, a successful comedian, had his own take on the situation. As someone who's known for crossing the line with his Golden Globe speeches, he's not down with censorship. 
He told Metro that he understands not watching someone because you don't like them, but trying to get a celeb fired is where things tip over to not being okay. This goes to show that cancel culture is at the detriment to the individual, and that the devastating effects cannot be tolerated. Cancel culture is causing intolerance. An article titled, Intolerance in Society Fueled by Cancel Culture? asks whether we are rapidly losing our humanity due to the fact that people are being engulfed in this culture of intolerance. Intolerance is fuel for conflict, whereas tolerance means to disagree peacefully. Who really wants a world full of conflict? We wish to live peaceful lives at heart, so why is intolerance on the rise? You guessed it, cancel culture. It is causing people to believe that being intolerant is justified and doing good. This results in high tension between the cancelers and their possible targets. This unrest and tension are taking the focus away from the real, pressing, important issues such as climate change, overpopulation and famine. The canceller themselves feels unhappy because they don't accept the reality of people and that is, we are all individuals that can make our own decisions and that it isn't their duty to limit one's freedom. So even though people are being cancelled out of an act of freedom and democracy, the real result is an overall loss of freedom. This lack of tolerance creates an unsafe, unforgiving, harsh, cruel environment for all the people affected. Cancel culture is displayed in the media as an expression of progressive democracy. This interpretation is destructive and will lead to an absolute destruction of real democracy. How will you act in a world free of tolerance? How will human expression manifest with no means to do so? And what will become of the individual? The harsh, pressing reality is that freedom is being destroyed by intolerance fueled by a culture of cancellations. We are doomed to a life of social invariance if this culture isn't regulated. If liberty means anything at all, it means the right to tell people what they do not want to hear. Therefore, intolerance is a violent attack on liberty. Liberty is one of the strongest principles of Western culture. Cancel culture is a ridiculous attempt at social and moral progress when all it stands for is brutal negativity. Although cancel culture can be beneficial to minorities and other groups which are subject to prejudice, the overall impact of this ridiculous concept is arguably a lot worse than the prejudice it claims to prevent. With the destructions of lives, the loss of liberty and freedom, and the rise of an inhumane, intolerant culture, the consequences of cancel culture directly oppose everything that it stands for. This mob mentality must be regulated or else we face changing the entire Western way of life. The destruction of celebrities' careers is disgusting and should no longer be tolerated. Freedom is a human right and it needs not be restricted. Intolerance restricts freedom, which is why cancel culture cannot continue if we truly wish for the betterment of society. So, say yes to freedom. Say no to control. Say no to intolerance. Say no to destruction. Say no to cancel culture.